In this video, I'm going to tell you all about my mode of vlogging mic setup using the GoPro Hero 8 and the GoPro Media Mod. Thanks for tuning in to Dirt Biking with Donnie and Chase. I'm Donnie, and I finally got a mic setup that I like using the GoPro Hero 8 and the GoPro Media Mod. I'm going to show you some of the mode of vlogging video that I've done using this setup. They do a great job with putting on this event every year. And they work really hard to get this course laid out. There's a lot of really nice single track like this. And I'm going to tell you some of the things you need to know if you're thinking about setting up a mic for mode of vlogging. So I got the GoPro Hero 8 Black last fall. And I had to wait until early in 2020 to get the GoPro Media Mod. Since I got the Media Mod, the camera has become more useful than what I would originally intended when I bought the camera. Um, at least in terms of the microphone setup for moto vlogging. I like the way it works. It's relatively straightforward and simple to use. And I'm gonna show you some more details about how I've got it set up. Staying smooth and picking the right lines is gonna be critical in this section. Now coming the opposite way out of this area, you may recognize it. If you're in last year's race, we went in that way. So I've got the mic itself mounted right inside the chin bar right here. This is just a budget lapel mic. I think it's seven or eight dollars. I paid for it on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description, but I've just got it in the chin bar of the helmet here. I've just got some Velcro that's uh, sticky on one side. Hook side just folds over and holds the mic in place. So that works really well. Don't have any noise or anything coming from the mic because it's moving around. It seems to be held in place really well. And that seems to be a good spot for it. The wire on this microphone is probably three or four feet long and I've got the extra length just ran behind the cheek pad and up under the liner of the helmet. Now the microphone plug comes to here and it plugs into this adapter. So this is a TRRS to TRS adapter and TRS just stands for tip ring sleeve and on this side it's tip ring ring sleeve. So it adapts the tip ring ring sleeve to the tip ring sleeve version and you need this to go into the GoPro media mod. So back to the helmet, if we look here what I've got. So if you'll notice these lapel microphones come with the tip ring ring sleeve setup on the 3.5 plug. So that's why you need the adapter to go from um, this uh, TRRS to TRS to plug into the GoPro media mod. I bought these kind because they're flexible and they've got a 90 degree plug uh, so that works well here most lapel mics and the one I'm linking in the description will come with an adapter but it's in this configuration and this configuration just doesn't work in the setup because it's too long um, it doesn't give you room to um, to plug into the microphone and then plug all of that into the back of the camera plus that would be prone to getting broken off I would recommend getting one of these 90 degree flexible adapters and and set it up something similar to that. So I've got this strapped to my ProShot camera mount and the ProShot camera mount, I've made a separate video on these. They work really well for a dirt bike setup on most helmets. So then the adapter just goes from here to the camera. So that just plugs in there. And that's all there is to it. There's really, there's no additional adapters to have to find a place to put in the helmet. Um, it's a really simple and straightforward setup. So that's what I really like that about it. Now let's talk a little bit about the media mod itself. Swipe down, go to preferences, to input output. You can see that the audio input is showing media mod. Now the camera's using the mics on the media mod, shotgun mic here, the mic on top and on the back. But I'm gonna use this adapter to plug in just to show you what happens here. When you plug in a mic, it automatically switches to the standard mic setting. If you select that, you get some more options. You get standard mic plus, where it actually increases the sensitivity of the microphone. And you have some settings for powered mics. You get a power mic, power mic plus, and a line in setting. Uh, so we're just using the standard microphone, standard lapel mic, it's not powered. Um, and I did some testing to see whether the standard mic or standard mic plus would be the better option. And it turns out that the uh, standard mic option is the best option to use with these particular lapel mics. The standard mic plus option actually 
causes some distortion in the audio. As you can see, I plug in the microphone, it automatically switches to standard mic. When I unplug it, it goes to media mod. So I like that about it. I don't have to mess with settings. It just automatically goes to that standard mic setting, which is the best one for this setup. So the simplicity of that is pretty nice. One of the things you need to be aware of with the GoPro Hero 8 Black, if you've got the 1.5 firmware, you'll need to upgrade to the 1.6 firmware to make it work with the media mod. Just depending on when you're watching this video, there may be something more current than 1.6 but the original software that was on my um, Hero 8 when I got it does not work with the media mod until you do the upgrade. In addition to the mic input with the media mod, you get a USB-C input so you can run an external battery. I have connected an external battery to that and found that it does work. One of the drawbacks that I've found is that I like using these uh, thumb screws with a little wing on there. They help you get a better grip on the thumb screw and get a little bit tighter than you could with just a standard thumb screw. But you can't use these with the media mod because the media mod interferes and this uh, won't turn. The Hero 8 comes with these thumb screws that are a little bit different shaped than the ones that they've used in the past. And because of the way the media mod is so tight in here, it's difficult to get this tight enough with your fingers. So you're usually gonna need a screwdriver to snug that thing up and make sure your, your uh, camera stays pointed where you want it to stay pointed. A couple other drawbacks are that the battery doesn't last quite as long in the camera when the media mod's attached. So you'll shorten your battery life just a little bit, uh, probably 25% or so from what I've seen. And I would not recommend using the quick capture function on the GoPro when the media mod's attached. It works most of the time but uh, once when I tried it, I did the quick capture and it didn't connect to the, to the lapel mic. So um, I think it's just safer to turn the camera on first. Now I should also mention that this setup is not waterproof when the GoPro media mod is installed. So you wanna be aware of that and not use this setup in the rain or really wet conditions. Check the video description for links to all the things that I've mentioned in this video, including this TRRS to TRS 90 degree adapter as well as the camera, the media mod, the ProShot camera mount, and the microphone. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.